Hi, we're Steve and Trisha, your local real estate agents. Are you thinking about purchasing a home? If so, you've probably already started looking online for houses, started paying off some debts, and saved some money up for a down payment. Congratulations, you're off to a great start. Buying a home should be easy, but there are a lot of steps involved in the home buying process. We're gonna go over a few of those with you right now. Now that you're serious about buying a home, you'll need to secure financing. Get with a financial institution to find out which types of loan works best for you. They will be able to tell you how much purchasing power you'll have and how much of a down payment and closing costs you will need. This is such an imperative step. Most sellers will not consider an offer without a pre-approval letter from your lender. Next, you and a realtor will tour some homes and you'll find the perfect home that fits your criteria. It's time to write an offer and the offer will include contingencies such as home inspections, usually paid for by you, the buyer, termite inspections, financial contingencies, and home of choice contingencies if you need to sell your current home to get into the new home. Once the offer is accepted, you'll put down a good faith deposit. A good faith deposit shows that your offer is serious and is usually received within two days of the offer acceptance. The contingency period for inspections is usually 10 to 15 days. During this time, all elected inspections and tests must be conducted. You'll discuss with your agent which items you'd like to have repaired by the seller. Some repairs may be required by the lender. Now we negotiate with the seller on the repairs and the cost. If an agreement isn't met, then the deal can fall through. If you have a financial contingency because you're getting a loan, you'll need an appraisal which will be paid for by you, the buyer. If for some reason the financing cannot be obtained during this time, you as the buyer are no longer obligated to purchase, which is the reason why sellers want to see your pre-approval letter. Once the contingency period is finished, wait for the words clear to close. Start packing and prepare to move. A few days before the closing date, the escrow company will provide a closing disclosure, which itemizes all the closing costs and credits for both the buyer and seller. Also, a few days before closing, you'll do a walkthrough with your agent to be sure the home is in the same condition it was when you first saw it. If all looks good, congratulations on your new home. We're Steve and Trisha with the SoCal Property Sales Real Estate Team. Remember, who, who you, you work, work with matters. matters.